Grace. You know me, I am always down for a late night planning session. And you have a lovely ambiance going on. Really loving the fall decor. Yeah. Yeah, so I know we have a lot to cover, so maybe we just jump right in. Um, before we get to some of the planning for the party, I brought some stuff that I want to just make sure I hand over to you. Yeah, just some things people have been bringing by and it's all kind of collecting and I really need to make sure you, t you know, take all the goodies people are giving you. Yeah, you know the holiday seasons really make people want to give lots of goods and I'm sure you will not complain. <laughs> There's some cute stuff in there. Okay, yeah, so let's start with that. Um, okay, so let me just get my bag. I brought my Trader Joe's bag. Yeah, so you know I have quite a bit with me. So let me just start to take some stuff out, okay? So I brought some of your snacks you told me to bring. Just let me know if these are the right ones. These are the Drizzlicious Pumpkin Spice Bites. Very festive, okay? One is dry roasted edamame with sea salt. Great protein. So, this one too. Okay. You have a large amount of snacks at the office, so I just wanted to make sure I grabbed the ones I kind of see reaching for. Okay, and then this one looks new. It's House of Snacks Cheddar Sesame Sticks. Yeah, okay, great. It's just some things to munch on, you know? Okay. Speaking of snacks, you have a couple of desserts some people have left for you. Yeah. I think they might be some clients, if I'm not mistaken. So we have... La Darache Chocolatier. I'm not familiar with them, but they look divine. Oh yeah, you like my nails? They're for the festive season. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's check this out. So, this is just a bunch of like of their chocolates, I'm guessing. So, this looks delicious. You should definitely have some of this. Did you happen to eat the dinner that I door dashed for you tonight? Okay, good. Yeah, I made sure to get your favorite restaurant. I know sometimes when you're stressed out, you don't eat that much. So, I'm glad I could help you eat and get nourished for our planning session tonight. All right. So, that's the chocolate. There's another dessert here. It just looks like baklava. I'm not sure about this one. Might not hurt to try. Yeah, I usually get mine from like the bakeries. So we'll see how this goes. Let me know how you like it, okay? Yeah. Yeah, 
kind of looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll leave this with all the snacks I just brought. <laughs> so, I also brought you this bag that someone gifted you. Yeah. Isn't it so cute? It's a pumpkin, clearly. <laughs> Just saying how you didn't have any festive bags, and now you have one. Okay. Oh, and there's some surprises inside. There's actually a chain handle. It's very long. It's pretty long, so you should be good with that. Also got some Halloween themed earrings. Look how cute those are. So adorable. Ghost bats and pumpkins. Yeah, this is from Clay Girl Clay. Yeah, they're so adorable. you get a chance to try them out, right? <laughs> okay. Just keep them in the bag. Yes, you have quite a few people who admire you to leave such lovely, lovely gifts. Okay. I'll make sure to put this safely in your don't mind at all opening your gifts. It's like another, you know, Christmas in a way for myself. Okay. So here we have a smoky quartz. You can believe it. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. So. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I'll look up what this means for you. But very cute. Put that there. So this looks to be like, I want to say like amethyst. <laughs> I'm not positive. But like a skull. Isn't that so cute? I love it. Adorable. Maybe they can just hang out here together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, yeah. Let me look up the um, smoky quartz meaning for you. I just like cannot remember off the top of my head, but we will go ahead and go to Google. You know, because Google is, like, a great resource. <laughs> I even might say I'm a professional Googler. Alright, so I have a couple definitions here. It says, um, let's see. It's known for its ability to bring balance, protection, and grounding into your life. Oh, it's an excellent choice for anyone who's facing difficult times or dealing with challenging issues. It is said to help manifest one's dreams and goals, promote emotional balance, provide protection from negative energies, and increase intuition. Well, that is awesome. I mean, hopefully someone you know well understands what that means to give that to you, but hopefully it's helping you in times of anxiety um, and also protecting you from those negative energies, like I mentioned. So, we love that. Okay, great. Alright. Okay, oh, I 
almost forgot. So, I brought all of these magazines I found on Halloween because I know you're eager to plan your Halloween party and get things moving. So, I have one, two, three, a couple magazines here that we can just browse briefly together. Um, first, I just want to make sure that we take down the things that you need, um, just some basic info to help me help you plan this party, work with the party planner, the decorator, the chef, all that good stuff. So don't you worry, we're gonna get some good stuff down today. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these off to the side for now. We'll dive into those in a minute. Let me just really briefly Pencil I need. So, I have everything I need. Okay, so, first and foremost, what dates were you looking at? Okay, prime dates. Okay, is there one you're leaning towards? I agree. Okay, let me just, um, I have my screen up here because I just need to, like, make sure I'm writing everything down because you know me it just gets really complicated really messy really quick if I'm not writing it down in at least three separate places okay so don't mind me okay so all right and what time were you thinking okay so no I don't think that's too early I think it could easily go late and give the people that window of time. If they want to stay early, they can stay early. If they want to stay late, they can stay late. Absolutely. Okay. All right. All right. And how many guests were we thinking? Maximum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In your place? Oh, no. You want to go. Okay. That leads me to the venue. Do you want to go with your go-to venue, or do you want me to look at the other options we've gone over before? Yeah, I can always come back to you. Let me check the weather. Um, let me just write that down, actually. Just to make sure I get that. Um, I'll just put it here. So. Check the weather. Because if we're at a venue with an outdoor patio, uh, or it's not really outdoor indoor, it's mostly outdoor, I just want to make sure people aren't stranded, like, in the rain or anything, okay? Yeah, that would be awful. Okay, so we'll check the weather and... Oh yeah, number of guests. Well yeah, just give me a number and I'll go ahead and, like, figure out the speed. Oh, okay. At least 20 to 30% of those are going to say no. So I'm just going to write that down. Just to give an accurate number, roughly, for everyone else. The chef, all that good stuff. I'm assuming you want it catered. Yeah, we're going to go over a couple ideas uh, for the decorator and the chef, just in case 
we need to pass along that info. I'm sure they're going to come up with their own great ideas too. Yeah. Okay. you remind me what Jessica does again? Oh, okay. Ice sculpturist. Thank you. You know, I don't think I recall, yeah, a Christmas party a couple years ago. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if, you know, we'll see if she can do something for Halloween. Yeah. I'll definitely check, uh, check in with her. Do you happen to have her number on file or should I be able to find it in your record? Perfect. Okay. All right. Oh, that is a cute idea. Okay, so you want to find old horror films to have on a projector throughout the night. You know what? Yeah, let me call Joe. He might be able to hook us up with something. So we have number of guests. We're still looking for a venue. Actually, let me write that down. Review options. Yeah, no worries. I can always scout it for you. And then, you know, I can always FaceTime you or something if I need to. But I know you're busy. Yeah. Okay. Anything else off the top of your head that we should at least notate for right now? just want me to kind of find options. Yeah, I can find, um, let me see. I'll find a couple of options locally. And then, um, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and screen them. And then I'll pick my faves and then you can screen them. Yeah. Just to make sure, you know. Yeah. Oh, an aura reader. Okay. Yeah, that is a great idea. So we're going for very new age vibes here. Okay. I'm assuming it's nothing too, uh, like, you know, haunted, haunted house-esque. Although you do like, okay, but you're not like leaning into the, like the horror gory parts. Okay. I didn't, I figured that wasn't really your style. Okay. So costumes are encouraged of any kind. Is there going to be a costume contest? Okay. Perfect. I think that's an amazing idea. Okay. So, um, should I have Alana? Okay. I'll have her run that the day of, okay? Okay, and then what about pets? I know you want to keep your dog Jefferson probably nearby, but uh, what about other people? Are you thinking pet friendly or no pets? Okay, no pets. Okay. Yeah, no worries. You're the hostess, so I'm sure your pet everyone will be fine with. Yeah, Jefferson gets along with everyone, so I think you should be fine. Plus, it keeps us from, you know, animal animals doing their thing at the venue, and then we have to pay for that cleaning fee, so it's just better. Solid. Okay. Anything else we can think of? Invitations. Okay. Anything else we can think of? Invitations. I can have those arranged to go out ASAP. Yeah. What I can do is send like a pre-save the date text and then the formal invites can be sent out. Um, yeah. way you can at least get a pulse on the number of people. Absolutely. Are you kind of thinking of your costume already? Okay, 
that's stressful, don't even worry about it. I will make sure we find you the best costume, okay? Don't even worry about it. In fact, I'll find you like five options and it'll be great. And you can choose whichever. And if you want, you can change throughout the night. Yeah, I can call your makeup artist. Yeah, and then we're gonna make sure that they're available throughout the day. Exactly. And your hairstylist, of course. Um, I just have to check which ones are available, okay? So, let me just check on that for day of. Alright. You got it. Alright, well I think we've taken down some key things for now. Let's unwind a little with some brainstorming, okay, of some of the magazines I got, okay. Yeah, so let me just grab those. on your own, but we can briefly go through some, okay? Yeah, so we can start off with this one here. This is really cute. I like the way they carved that. And even these apples, look at that. They've got like twigs, sticks. Got some cocktail inspo. Beautiful. Got some cute. Cutouts for the pumpkins. Lots of snake themes. Look at that. That's actually very cute. Very Slytherin of them. You know, we could always air in the dark academia vibes if you'd want. Looks like they have some recipes too. So just take notes of all the things you're really interested in. You can add some post-its if you want and we can share them later. Yeah. Looks like some general decor, which this looks nice. Very tropical. Oh, I like this color combo. Oh, 
cozy and speak fall reads. Yeah, I can always stop by Barnes and Noble if you need. Or send you a delivery. For whatever books you're interested in this season. I know it's hard for you to find time to read. check out audiobooks too. Yeah. It'll definitely be, definitely be helpful during those busy weeks. Don't feel like there's much Halloween stuff going on in here. But, you know, we have other magazines. You know, I feel like it's hit or miss depending on the seasonings, right? Ooh, some autumnal dishes. Looks delicious. Yeah, take a look. See if there's anything you want to incorporate. And we can always have the chef come up with something similar. own spin on it. Ooh, apple pie. It's a season for apples and pumpkins. And we're here for it. Okay. I'll just see if there's anything Halloween critical kind of thing to do. You're welcome to read this when you can, okay? Okay, next we have Halloween Outdoor. I know that we're not sure about an outdoor venue, but this will be helpful nonetheless if you decide to go with that route. I feel like there's some stuff you could do inside as well. I feel like this is a bit more can do some ghosts. People are so creative with their carvings. I just don't have the talent. I'm seeing more snakes. Seems to be a theme. Oh, this is so cute. Little houses. So, yeah, kind of based on the theme you go with, you can really, like, take the carvings of the pumpkin and make them part of the theme, right? So, if it's, like, a dark academia with lots of black and green and deep purples or even, like, a haunted mansion theme, you know, you can really jazz up the carvings. And, like, they did bats here. Very cute. can play around with palette colors, so like black and white and orange or other colors. Oh, I like these a lot. Lots of skeletons vary in this year seen a lot of people doing like really funny things on their lawns so maybe we try to do something cute but like in a smaller capacity in a little like vignette and it could be a great photo op uh, you can take a photo with the skeletons essentially I think that's a great idea so cute <laughs> this is so People are just so creative. What's that TikTok? Everyone's so creative. <laughs> yeah, this is just great inspo in general. Of course, there's a lot of different themes, very rustic. I kind of like the like vintage vibes a lot myself. 
this is like more glittery. This is definitely more kid friendly. But I know we're doing an adult party. But I think that's adorable. And this doesn't even require carving, it's really just paint. So we could do painted ones. Ooh, this is nice. It's like gold, like uh, etching, or I don't even know what to call that, but that's nice. It has like a texture to it. Ugh, I just love autumn and the leaves. I mean, maybe you can't get real crows, but maybe fake, you know, plastic. I'm always hesitant about insects because I just feel like people have, you know, reservations about that. Um, let's see. Oh, this is so cute. Adorable. very interactive with the outdoors. Often, that's really as much decoration we see from each other during the season is really the exterior of houses, so um, I think we can like play into that a little bit. Find ways to incorporate some of these more dramatic setups. Those are the tones we're leaning towards, less like the bright yellow and bright orange. Yeah, although this is super cute. We could do something similar. We could do a cauldron of some kind that's always kind of like smoking, if you will. We can find a little trick for that. drinks in there. That is probably one of the cutest ideas I've ever seen. I think we should definitely do that. This is cute. I like this. This is giving Nightmare Before Christmas. I love it. Kind of like creepy vintage. Don't worry, it's your party, so you can decide on any theme you want. I can't help but voice also <laughs> what I love. But I want you to pick what you love, and we can talk it through with the decorator. Yeah, there's some pretty kid-friendly options. Very nice. Tablescapes. This is 
nice. I like this color palette. Purple, kind of like a pale orange vibe. Not as jewel toned. We should definitely have some festive treats. They just make everything a little bit more, I don't know, like a party. The food is like half the fun, especially if it's good food. So we gotta make sure they're tasty. Cute little drinks. We can make some mocktails, cocktails. This looks colors we can play around with. I don't think we need too many, you know, cocktails. We could pick like a couple that are like the fun festive ones so we don't have to like decorate a million drinks and then the rest can just be kind of general. Oh, that looks really good. I love that these are all like general foods but they're Halloween themed. Very cute. Okay. Alright. I think I have one more magazine. Okay. So this one's Halloween treats, cakes, minis, and cookies. So this is more of the like treat side. And and if we wanted, we could use them in like goodie bags as well. So, something to think about. I think this is like in tandem with the previous magazine because um, I'm recognizing. So very cute. I just could never be this creative with my food. So glad people can think of these things. So yeah, if you can just go through and like check off the things you might want us to recreate. I think this will really help the chef. And also, you know, if we need to pass this along to any dessert people, <laughs> bakeries, etc. So cute. I actually really like this cake. It's cute. This is like a Frankenstein. <laughs> Sound 
delicious, so cute. Wonder what these are. Pumpkin. Nice. Do you like candy corn? I feel like it's an acquired taste. I feel like we eat candy corn because it's candy corn, but we wouldn't want it any other, like, I guess season or in any other form usually, but. are such cute ideas. I really love the pumpkin like cooler effect. Some other foods here. Oh my god, that is so cute. They're like rolls. I love that. I might try to make that. Did I ever tell you to try to make one time and it tasted horrible. Yeah, so I don't think I should be making pie. <laughs> wow, these look so cute. Thank you so much for going through all that with me. I feel like I've gotten a really good idea of, you know, what to, to look for and what to share with the decorator, etc. So, um, I'm just gonna make a quick note. I'm gonna see if they can meet. Uh, you know what, just let me check. Yeah. I want to meet them as soon as possible because otherwise, um, you know, just the details can get lost. You know what I'm saying? So it's just important that I'm on it. Um, and it will be done and it will be one of the best parties you've ever hosted. Um, and that I've been able to help you host. So, so don't even worry about it. to make sure I get done for you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I just want to make sure that by tomorrow I'm, I have my ducks in a row. So, can you just remind me of your dry cleaning pickup time? Yeah, unfortunately they just keep emailing you for some reason. I keep asking to be CC'd and they just seem to forget. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's 2.30. Perfect. Would you like your coffee to arrive at the office or here tomorrow morning? Okay, and it's 9.15, okay? I feel like that's a good time. It's not 9, it's not 9.30, and I know that you don't have any calls during that time, so that works out. Okay, great. Now, I did get a text that there is a meeting tomorrow at 11.30. Does that still work for you? Okay, you want to try to move it to 11.45? You got it. I will sound the troops and make sure we can move it 15 minutes. Yeah, I know you're coming off of another um, you do have a lunch at the bistro at 1 p.m., but I will leave a protein bar or a snack in your office in case you are hungry, uh, before lunch, okay? Yeah, it is a client meeting tomorrow. 
Um, and I believe, let me check who's going with you. Um, that would be Bailey and George. Okay. Yeah, I'll let them know to get there promptly. Okay, and is there anything else tomorrow that I should be aware of? Okay, not tomorrow, but you want to book a facial and massage, yeah. Absolutely. When would you like to get those done? Friday, okay. Preferably after three, okay. Yeah, let me see what I can do. I will call up the salon and see um, if they're available, okay. Yeah, let me just actually do that. Better now than later, okay. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes, this is Stacy with... Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm calling for an appointment for Friday afternoon. Do you happen to have anything open after 3 p.m.? A 4 p.m. Okay. 4 works great. Mm -hmm. Yes, the usual facial and massage. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so about two hours. Okay, let me just write that down. Is two hours okay? Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, same. Okay. All right. All righty. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you can just charge it to the card on file. That would be great. Okay, thank you so much. We'll see you then. All set for Friday at 4. It's going to be about 2 hours, so just be aware of that. And it's your usuals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds relaxing. I feel like you really need that after what will likely be a very busy week for you, okay? But I'm going to do my best to make sure that it's extra smooth, okay? I think that covers everything. I'm just going to close up my um, yeah, screens here. So I'm going to go ahead and pack up everything, but thank you so much for having me over. I really appreciate your time as always, and I'll make sure to lock up as I head out, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Please make sure you get lots of rest and drink your water. Okay. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the supplements that I bought for you like a week ago. Yes, I noticed they were still unopened on your kitchen counter. Okay. You should definitely start taking them. They're really going to help you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I will see you tomorrow. The coffee will be on your desk when you get there and we'll be ready to take on the day. I'll see you later.